First win in for Modlin, the 26th ranked player in the world out of Jamesville, North Carolina, and Eastern North Carolina, near the Outer Banks. Oh, beautiful bag by Adam Hisner to get around it. Because again, this is Hisner's lane for the people at home trying to see, and then this is Modlin's lane. So obviously that bag on the left-hand side is still grabbable by Hisner. And he does grab it. Nice shot, drops them both in. Bag on that back right side is on the slick side, so look for it. There it goes, right there. So again, bags in the American Cornhole League are two-sided. On one side, you have a tackier side. On the other side, you have a slick side. So Frank has six points on the round. Adam steps up and quickly fires his first bag. Now, let me ask you on that last round real quick. What about an air bail by Frank on that backside? I think he just felt like, hey, look, I got a five-point lead. There's no there's no reason for me to get too cute at this point. Yeah. And Afraid that, they might. That is a stupid, That's ridiculous it. shot that Adam Hissner did. That is an Adam Hissner special. Yeah. Frank Frank follows up, but man, what a shot by Hissner. Another bag by Frank still alive. Trying to sneak it out on that left side. Three points match here in round number seven. As Adam now kind of plugs the hole, and Frank's just going to lay it up on the board. That was both the two great shots. OK, those, yeah, those last shots were very two great shots. Let's look at this one first by Hisner to take a both and leave one in front. I mean, just it's a pro level shot there. But I love what I saw. He get a point out of it. He was I thought he was going to give up five and he scored. Round number nine, four point lead for Frank as that one goes deep. And now we'll see if Adam can somehow push this one up a little bit closer to the holes. He goes airmail first. Yep, because what he wanted to do, he, he, he was, airmail may have given him an and one, which would help him on the scoring rounds. Because now though those bags on the, on the right side, Hister may try a cut shot now to drag this bag. Come on now. Oh, and now will those fall? They still Come are just on. not going. He's talking to him. See what happens here with the vibration of the board again as Frank sends it in and two drop for Adam. And now this is in to tie the game. And he misses it off the back side of the board. Wow, that was an opportunity to tie the game going into round number 10. And now Frank Maudlin holds a three point lead into the last round for a chance to win $20,000. Tell you what, Trey. Over the last 16 weeks, what we have seen, it just does not matter the sport. Whether you're playing football right across the street here, or you're playing basketball, whatever the sport is, when it's competition and this type of money on the line, I mean, the nerves just always seem to rear their ugly head at some point. Yeah, and this is perfect for Hisner. He's going to go airmail, and he hits it. That puts a lot of pressure on Maudlin now, because if Maudlin chooses to go airmail and misses, it's set up for a three-point round. Third one is in, able to just squeeze it around Frank's bag. Oh. That one spins off to the backside. And now will he go airmail? No, he's going to try to get around it, and he sits. And now here's the situation, Jeff. If Frank Maudlin puts a single bag in, he will win this game eight to seven. If he leaves it on the board, he will give up four, and Adam Hisner will win. This bag in the hole is for the win, and if it's not, it's Adam Hisner is your champion. It's too easy. It's too easy. Frank wants to look, but he's already taken his one and only timeout. He gets two oh. in doubles play, I mean singles play. All right, so he is going to take a look at this one then. So the second and final timeout for Frank as he'll make the long walk 27 feet to the other end and take a look at this situation again. Adam Hissner showing plus five at the moment. It's too easy. Frank Maudlin, if he puts, like I said, he puts this bag in the hole, he wins. And the on, on converse, okay, one situation that also could happen, it's less likely. If he goes in and takes this yellow bag with him, he'll still lose. So he's got to go in without a Hissner bag. Biggest shot of Frank Maudlin's career right here. For tw This is a $20,000 bag right here, Jeff. And as you said, one has to go in, and he cannot get it! It stops just shy of the hole. And Adam Hisner is your pro shootout men's singles champion.
$20,000 to Adam Hissner after trailing the entire way. What a match.